Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many C++ developers encounter when exploring the exciting world of parallel programming. Our viewer is eager to try out the experimental parallel STL introduced in C++17, but they're facing some hurdles. They ask, how can I use experimental parallel STL in C++1Z when I can't find the execution policy in libc++? Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To use the experimental parallel STL in C++17, you first need to ensure that you have the correct version of the C++ standard library installed. The parallel STL features are part of the experimental library. Next, you should include the necessary header files in your code. The header for execution policies is located in the experimental directory. However, if you can't find it, it may not be implemented in your current version of libc++. If you encounter an error stating that the file experimental slash execution policy cannot be found, it indicates that your version of libc++ does not support this feature yet. You may need to update your compiler or library. To compile your code, use the following command. Make sure you are using a compatible version of Clang that supports C++17 features. Finally, if you still face issues, consider checking the official documentation or forums for updates on the implementation status of Parallel STL in your version of libc++. It may not be fully implemented yet. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Currently, the experimental parallel STL features in C++1Z are not implemented yet. This includes the parallelism technical specification and the parallel algorithms. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To use Experimental Parallel STL in C++1Z, the user recommends Intel's Parallel Studio XE Beta, which supports both libc++ and libstdc++. They've tested functions like for each and transform. The Intel PSTL is now open source and compatible with GCC and Clang. It's also included in GCC version 9.1 and LLVM. For portability, the user employs preprocessor directives to ensure compatibility with different compilers when using PSTL. The code example shows how to implement parallel operations using PSTL with a focus on matrix operations. Finally, the user discloses their affiliation with Intel, clarifying they are not responsible for the PSTL implementation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To 
use experimental parallel STL in C++1Z, both GCC and Clang now support the Intel PSTL implementation. This allows you to access C++17 parallel algorithms in their standard libraries. Keep in mind that there is an additional dependency on the Intel TBB library, which the PSTL uses to enable parallelism. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.